Hey guys, I'm Alexa with Craft, and in this video, we'll go over a few account customization tips that will help you feel more at home in your craft space. So first, let's click on our home button, and from there, you'll notice your avatar or profile picture in the top right corner of your screen, and when you open that, select the settings button. This is our account level settings. At first glance, you'll see your name and your craft email, which can be changed here at any time, but we'll focus on the left side here where we can customize our account. So for example, in appearance and sound, you can choose between light and dark mode themes and our interface accent color. Now our interface accent color is really, really fun because the color you select will reflect the outlined areas within craft. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, if I select green, you'll notice now that this check mark and this outline is now in green or say purple, for example, or yellow. Now let me show you what it looks like in a craft document. So let's go back to pink for this example, and I have my document already open. And when I create a new block, you'll notice that my cursor is already blinking in the color I designated, which in this case is pink. Now, if I select the block above, you'll notice that it's also selecting it in a pink color. Similarly, in our right sidebar, all of these defaulted buttons pre-selected for you will also reflect the color you choose. So this makes it super fun to customize your craft account to your preferences. And since we're already looking at my list here of tasks, I can also customize the way I want a checked off item to look. In our advanced settings, we have the option here to select different ways that we want our completed tasks to appear. So for example, it's selected faded right now. So as you can see, my item here is faded in color, or you can select our strike through option which is my personal preference because it completely strikes through that item and it feels more complete. Now say for example, you're going through your list of to-dos and you realize that you'd like to keep all of these items as a reference, but some of them have already been canceled and not need to be completed anymore. So with your MD box, all you have to do is simply click twice and you'll see an X appear in it with the item itself crossed off and that is a canceled item. If you wanna undo it, simply click the box again and it'll activate that item. Now going back to our appearance and sound, when this enabled sound feature is checked, you'll notice that in our checkbox, when your volume is turned on, a sound will play each time you check off an item. Did you catch that? As an additional way that you can customize your craft account, if you speak another language like me, you can customize the language displayed in your craft account. So going into our language and spelling option, I speak Hungarian as my second language. So sometimes I like to switch between English and Hungarian just depending on my time of day. So when I select the Hungarian language, you'll notice that all of these options are now translated into Hungarian as well as on my actual craft space itself. Now for the purpose of this video, I'll put it back to English. To clarify, the language option here is to set the language for your actual craft account from an account level. However, your spelling option is for spell check only. There are a lot of ways that you can customize craft and make it fun and feel more at home for you. I hope this was helpful. Happy crafting!